So, since Brother Jimmy is no longer with us, is there anybody else who has the gift of interpreting the tongues in which we're all going to speak today? Anybody? Oh, goodness, that was frightening. Oh, hello. Who might you be? Why, we're the members of Wickersham Apostolic Church, and you are? Isn't it obvious, Preacher Jeff? He's a golden angel from heaven! Oh, I'm afraid that's not quite true. My name is C-3PO. I am a service droid from another galaxy, programmed to interact with and assist various organic life forms such as yourselves. Assist us? Yes, that's right. Is there anything with which you need assistance? Well, yes, actually. We're trying to get an old-timey revival going where a number of us are going to speak in tongues, but our translator called in sick with an unexpected case of Lutheranism. Is there any chance the Holy Spirit has bestowed upon you the supernatural gift of interpretation? I'm afraid that I possess no divinely given abilities. However, I was programmed to be fluent in over six million forms of communication, including all the languages of your planet, so I believe I could be of service as a translator. Hey, you guys hear that? That's great! Yeah, really? Really great. Well, let's get this thing going. All right. Anybody feel in the spirit? Anybody have a word from the Lord you just gotta share with us? I'm feeling it. Shlaba have a twing bing doogie alba bingo. Okay, Brother 3PO, what did Sister Jane say? Um, nothing. What? Yeah, what are you talking about? I said a bunch of stuff. Well, you did make sounds, but I'm afraid those sounds were just randomly assembled bits of gibberish and don't belong to any actual language. Really? You sure that wasn't Russian or something? Quite certain, I'm afraid. Well, I'm really feeling the spirit. Let me try something. That felt like Hebrew. That was Hebrew, right? No, just Middle Eastern sounding gibberish. French sounding gibberish. Probio, Mavia, Pasta Primavera. That was half gibberish, half just listing menu items from an Italian restaurant. Yo tengo tres bigotes in mis piscinas. Hey, that was Spanish, right? Yes. You just said, I have three mustaches in my swimming pools. Did the Holy Spirit directly reveal to you that you have three mustaches in your swimming pools, or did you just subconsciously shout out the only words you remember from Senorita Van Meter's fifth period Spanish class your freshman year of high school? Seventh period, actually. Look, my new friends, as much as you all want to believe it, I'm afraid it's clear that the Holy Spirit isn't actually causing you to speak in legitimate foreign languages as he did to the apostles on the day of Pentecost. Well, the Lord is obviously speaking through us somehow. In fact, I believe we're speaking in some kind of supernatural prayer language, like how St. Paul talks about speaking in the tongue of angels. You speak angel? Well, no, but- Well then, rest assured, my Pentecostal friends, that must be what's going on. I do hate to be rude, sir, but when St. Paul references the tongue of angels in 1 Corinthians 14, he's not saying that the Holy Spirit actually grants certain men the ability to speak the official language of heaven. Rather, he's making a rhetorical point. To people who think that speaking in tongues makes them better Christians, he's saying, even if I speak in the most super-duper heavenly of tongues, if I think I'm holier than other people, I'm actually proving my Myself to be a spiritually infantile, self-righteous sinner. Well, all right. So, but... in the end, the Bible only actually describes God giving men one kind of miraculous tongue speaking, that of speaking in actual languages, which we've just established that you're not doing, and which we'll establish in a future video no one is actually doing today. And if I may be so bold, inventing a new way that God is speaking through you after it's just been shown that God wasn't actually speaking through you the way you first claimed he was, is not substantially different from when the Jehovah's Witness kept changing the meaning of their end-of-the-world predictions after they failed to come true. In other words, it's an unsuccessful attempt to cover up your blatant false prophecy. Oh yeah? Well, how about this? Hey, that sounded like something. That was Latin. Well, all right, it looks like you were wrong, metal man. Backwards, Latin. What? You just said Satan is my homeboy in Latin. Backwards. Which I think means you have a demon. I do not have a demon. You probably have a demon. I do not have a demon. Pretty sure you have a demon. We do not have a demon. Yeah, pretty sure you got a demon there, Daryl.